In the last lecture, we saw how to zoom into and measure individual polygon features. And if you recall, I told you that the measurement tool that we use, it just the measuring of a feature like so, it just gives us an approximate idea of its area. And in order to get a better idea or a more accurate estimation of the different polygons or that we have within our shape file, we need to compute their geometry. And this is what we are going to do in this lecture. This is the administrative shape file of Vietnam, VNM Adam 3. And you can open the attribute table. So there are 674 odd districts in this particular shape file. And I want to compute the area of each of these. And before I do that, and computing areas, not just pointing and clicking, but actually including areas in the attribute table is a very important component of geoprocessing. And ArcGIS makes it quite easy, but there are some things that you do need to bear in mind. It is imperative that your data are projected in the UTM coordinate system or any other projected linear system because that will ensure that you get the area output in things like square meters or square kilometers or any other unit of your liking because if you work with decimal degrees the output will be in square degrees and that won't make a lot of sense and you may have to convert it to some other unit so anyway back to the topic in order to compute the area I'm going to add a field and this field is going to contain the area values and I want everything to be float. I'll just leave precision and scale as zero. Okay. So now I have a new column by the name area two. I will right click on this and I'm going to calculate the geometry. So this is the property that I want to compute, area. I mean, you can as easily compute perimeter should you like, or X coordinate or the Y coordinate of the centroid, again, depending on what you want to compute. But let me just compute the area. And the coordinate system of the data frame is in UTM, zone 48 north. If you remember, I'd already told you that this is the coordinate reference system you should have your spatial data in. And the output units are in square meters, but you can make them in square kilometers, hectares, areas. So actually, let's just leave it in square meters. Ah, see, there you go. The area of the individual districts has been computed and computed in square meters. And I had done so previously, and I get the same values. So... This is how you can compute some of the most common mensuration data associated with your shape files. And by mensuration data, I mean area and parameter. And essentially, this is how you compute it using ArcGIS. Now, as I had mentioned that it is advisable to have your data projected into the UTM system. And in the next lecture, we will see how to convert spatial data between two different coordinate reference systems. So see you in the next lecture.